Why in the world do y'all live in a yurt? Good question. One of the I am in a yurt right now. But before I was in this yurt, I was driving down the road in the pouring rain in Maple. And before that, we were saying goodbye to our now dear friends in South Carolina. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. For hanging with us. Oh my goodness. Us. We had so much fun. Yeah. We're gonna Frank, miss can you say you bye bye. So much. Bye bye, Ren. So we had bye fun bye. with you. Oh my oh, goodness. Your camera shot. Bye bye. Bye bye, Justin Rhodes. Bye, buddy. Bye bye. Can you say bye bye, Justin Rhodes. From your bye bye, number one fan. <laughs> She's so sad. <laughs> she's, 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 she's heartbroken. She's heartbroken. Remember now, she wants to name this baby Justin Rhodes. Justin Rhodes. <laughs> Just, Justin Rhodes Gardner, y'all. But what brought us to this yurt? Well, his nice young family found us before we were even YouTubers. I think they found us from Purple Culture. I'm not sure. Let's find out. I'm curious, Mike and Lacey. I kind of forget. How did you find us? Because I think you were actually our first fans. I think you were our first I think you were our first visitors to our house. This was before we were on YouTube. And how did you find us? Well, uh, I was scrolling through my wife's emails and she was getting an email from Paul Wheaton. And I looked at the teaser trailer and the info that, that there was on the, the email from Paul Wheaton. And it talked about this guy named Justin Rhodes and permaculture chickens and i was like and i was like i want to see what this guy is doing he looks like he knows what he's doing so we reached out and we wanted to come visit their farm and they allowed us to come do so and we had a blast i remember when they came i was so excited because we've had volunteers come out before he came out as a volunteer he's like i want to come out me but i want to help you and of course y'all know me oh i'm not afraid to put somebody to work and I remember distinctively saying, go get me an insulator. And he knew what in the world I was talking about. We were working on an electric fence. And I was so happy to have somebody around that knew, actually knew what they were doing. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> when they applied to be on the Great America Farm Tour, we just had to go and check it out. They've got a pizza oven going. We're going to have a big meet up here tomorrow night they've got a market garden and right here a junk mobile in progress little tiny ducklings i'm guessing he knows a thing or two about ducks he's got some free range ducks mike you got a good looking place here buddy thank you what do you do with the ducks the ducks we sell the eggs to customers and we i eat them every morning for breakfast and look we came just in time to help them transplant this lettuce. We're gonna do that tomorrow.
Yeah. Dinner time, y'all. Where's your plate? <laughs> Come on now. Come on, Mike. Where, what are you going to do? Not I guess he's not eating tonight. Okay. I'm going to eat it all. Oh, you got it. <laughs> This is his method, I guess, getting the kids to eat. You just prolong. They just have to watch everybody eat. There we go. And then, and then you get it going. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these guys pigging out. Hey, what did you want? You said you wanted more? Yeah. What do you want more of? Meat. Meat. Okay. You cannot lose with chicken. This one wants more chicken. And look, it's amazing to see how everybody cooks it so differently. How did you cook this, Lacey? Well, I put in the crock pot, oregano, thyme, garlic powder, a little bit of water, and a bay leaf, and let it cook all day long. Look, all Mr. Right. Brown's wanting some more chicken too. You want more chicken? Look, finally, they're going gonna, straight for the chicken. We're gonna feed her finally. Chicken monsters. Oh look, she does get a plate. Now, but you, I bet you're gonna eat all that now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is so tender, just picking it right off. And Mr. Brown normally doesn't get seconds on chicken. Wow. Look at this. Yum. Yum, yum, he said. Check this out. We are in a yurt. Why in the world do y'all live in a yurt? Good question. One of the main reasons we live in, we live in a yurt currently is um, we were living in the, in the city and we really wanted to get into farming and moving into a yurt was one of the best ways that we could do it from an economical standpoint. So uh, we talked to my wife's father and asked him if he could, we could move out onto this land here to start a farm and live in a crazy yurt. And we set it up and we've been setting up our farm and getting things going. You guys mind sharing how much you think you had to pay for this thing? No, um, not at all. We found it on Craigslist, so it was used. What? Yeah. And um, what did we pay? We paid eight thousand. <laughs> eight thousand. Yeah. Wow. Good job, guys. Yeah. A house for eight thousand dollars. Typically, the, it would be brand new. It would be at least twenty-five thousand to buy what we bought for this yurt package, or but more. It would be more. But. We got it for $8,000 on Craigslist and it was a steal. So how much then did it cost you all together? Eight grand for the yurt, but then kit and caboodle, ready to live in, how much? I would probably say it cost us anywhere about twenty-eight dollars to $30,000 for this whole thing. So we have this whole house for our family to live in for about twenty-eight dollars to $30,000. That's financial freedom right there, y'all. <laughs> And you, did not, you forgot to add that in that Craigslist deal that they got, they got the floor joists. That would have been more expensive if you if they had to purchase their kit separately. So good job, y'all. So they got a really good deal on that. What do you need? <laughs> He's a hug. Oh. <laughs> I need to stay it here. I really like it when it rains. Oh. Uh. It sounds awesome. <laughs> Are the windows on our yurt are the velcro windows so if it's raining outside and it's windy you have to go outside velcro those windows on and it is not fun <laughs> wait so, a minute <laughs> wait a minute she loves it when it's raining and she loves it when it's raining and you you hate it when it's raining. what's maybe, going on maybe it's a love hate relationship oh okay okay love hate relationship here in the yurt remnants of a delicious meal. Thank you guys for the wonderful oh, meal. Yes, thank you. We look forward to hanging out and working with you tomorrow.